Hey there baseball fans, Ben here and today I'm opening packs of 1990 score and 1992 score baseball. And sorry, I just wanted to adjust the lighting there a little bit. Um, this is all the, all the uh, packs I have left from 90 score and 1992 score. So let's dig in and see what we can find. 1990 score, of course, the last year that score made a single series for the set. Splitting off in 1991 into two series. So really, Tony Fernandez, Jim Abbott, and then Dennis Dackersley. Good start to it. And Roger Clemens. So really, a good start to the pack there. Chuck Knobloch, which at the time would have been super important to get that, uh, that rookie card. Let's jump back and forth. Let's jump to 1992 now. This is a fun year with an interesting design. And a lot of fun subsets in this one. But despite all the fun subsets, we didn't get a single card worth mentioning in that pack. I don't know, let's jump back to 1990 then. How about that? Let's see what we can find here. A good action shot, Greg Gagne. Am I out of focus here? Maybe that helps. Maybe it doesn't. In any case. Edgar Martinez, so there's a good one for you. And of course, we still have the lenticulars. This is the MVP year, 1953, which is Al Rosen. Not a lot of uh, interest in those, especially since the internet made those things not really. Um, that information once might have been hard to come by, but it is no longer. <clears throat> Jumping ahead to the 1992 pack. Hopefully we can get some interesting cards here. There's Scott Erickson. Cal Ripken Jr., that's a good one. Hey, I love these uh, caricature cards. And there's Ken Griffey Jr. Smiling as Jr. often was. So that's a high kick from Roy Smith. Holy cow. There's Mark McGuire. Ron Ant. And Jorge Bell. So that was a good pack. I'll take that any day. And these 1990 packs, you know, we're looking for some stars and Hall of Famers. I think the most interesting cards in here are the number one draft pick of Frank Thomas as well as the uh, Bo Jackson shoulder pads card, which is super famous. Um, I pulled a few out of those out recently. And then there's a nice, oh, there's Sammy Sosa. I don't know that I've seen that one before. So that's fun. This is, I think that's a score rookie, to be honest with you. Um, so that's a good one, great. Happy about that. The uh, the Dream Team subset in that 1990 score set is also worth worth mentioning. There's Harold Baines. Matt Williams, John Crook, another Griffey. Ken Griffey Jr. there. Again, that Griffey smile. That's good. And Roger Clemens. So we, we have both the Clemens and Griffey base cards and all-stars from that 1992 set. So that's fun and exciting. And there's a card that a lot of people like. This is that move on number one draft pick.
And our last pack of 1992 score. There's a Nolan Ryan. That's that looks like a good one for our personal, my personal collection. So this was his seventh no header. Again, breaking his own record. Six no headers before that. And there's Ricky Henderson, all-time stolen base leader. <coughs> Excuse me, breaking Lou Brock's record. Oh my, four-way no header for the Orioles pitchers. Last pack of the day. Let's see if we can pull out of this one. Keith Hernandez. Or he of the famous mustache. Greg Max. Nice shot of him there. And that'll do it for us. So, a good handful of stars here Greg Maddox, Keith Hernandez, Ricky Henderson, Roger Clemens, Griffey, Harold Baines, Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, Griffey, Cal Ripken, Edgar Martinez, Roger Clemens, and Dennis Eckersley, as well as the Nolan Ryan No Hit Club, and a bunch of players for the uh, common bin. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.